Hello everybody, this is Belinda from Belinda's Book Nook and I'm here to do a Friday Reads. I always want to do them and it's usually like Saturday night I realize I didn't. So here I am on a Friday giving you my update on what I'm currently reading. Um, things have been consistent throughout this pandemic of me kind of having this ADD mood where I just can't focus on um, books and I'm, I'm, you know, I'm enjoying the ones that I do make it through but I find that I'm, you know, just purposely not doing, reading something and reading something else or not reading at all. Um, so what I am reading right now um, is I have a book that came in, I had put it on hold on my um, Libby app and then all of a sudden, I don't know what happened, but in the middle of a pandemic, Libby and Amazon, um, at least the Kindle version that I have are not agreeing. And so all of a sudden the book comes in and I can't access it. It's like giving me this error message to the app. I'm freaking out. I'm like, this is like losing your library card, right? So I ended up now, I'm using my husband's reader and the book that I'm reading right now that came in, and see, this is the thing with that. I tend to, pardon me, I tend to put a lot of books on hold, especially when they say things are 16 weeks, 10 weeks, five weeks, whatever. And when they come in, I either scramble to read it and read it, or I will push it off the hold, you know, push it back on the hold list. So this one came, which is called Saving Ruby King. Um, and I wanted to read it. It's by um, Catherine Adele West. And I, when I it saw, you know, this is a new release that came out this year. I, when I saw it was coming out, I put it on hold. I do that a lot now because I'm trying to encourage myself not to buy every single new release, you know, as much as I'd like to. I have no space for it. Um, and if I really like a book, I can buy it, right? That's the ideal, but I still do buy books. Don't be fooled. Um, so that one came in and I started reading it. It is, it is very interesting right now. Um, and um, it's got a lot of trigger warnings with incest and abuse. So if you're really, really adamant about it, this is not the book. I'm not really comfortable with those topics, but I can manage to work through them if the book has more depth and other things that it's going to be covering other than just that. Um, and I want to see where this author is going with it. Um, so I will come back when I finish it to give you um, my thoughts on that. So that's there. Um, I have... Um, what is it, Onyx Pages, and I'm gonna leave the information down below, and Tatiana from Musical Tati are also, I think they're co-hosting a, what are they calling it? A slow read a thon And it's brilliant, because it's perfect for a person like me that is a slow reader and wants to read other books. This is the problem most of the time, is I get um, anxious and want to read along with people on read-alongs or read-a-thons, and I, can't keep up with that and I can't read what I want to read you know people do buy books and have books on their bookshelf and they want to read them and when we have short time periods for people like myself that read slow it's just challenging to do both and I want to be able to be engaged with the community and do stuff but it's just hard so this slow this roundabout way to getting to talk about this this slow um readathon is perfect for me and what they're doing is they are reading the entire collection of Octavia Butler's books which I've only read two of her books and um, it was a long time ago um, and so I am really kind of excited to read it I feel like with both of them I'm excited to read it because I feel like um, they have much more um, knowledge and background experience with um, some of the science fiction and fantasy genre and I think that the discussions will be more enlightening and help me to understand the books better. Um, and so they are starting that, they started it on Octavia Butler's birthday which was Monday and um, so what I did is I found my copy that I had given my mom back in the day and I put the flags to you know keep myself honest to know what I need to read by when and so it's slow it's going to, because it's slow and they're reading her complete collection each book will be um, read um, you'll have two months to read it now that's just music to my ears okay so I can read other things in between I can go ahead you know what have you that's that's great so I have started a little bit I think I just read the introduction but I'm gonna get myself going because I'm not gonna try to you know, get behind already. So I have Kindred 
um, which is Octavia, um, this book that I did read before. And I'm really curious to see years, years later now what I think about this book. I think I'm still going to enjoy it, but I think I'm going to take away even more now as an adult. Um, so I'm looking forward to that. So that's something I'm reading right now. Um, another book that's coming up, I'm not reading it right yet, but I've got it lined up for next month. I will be doing a buddy read again with Alba. I love reading books with her. I had a great time with her doing The Warmth of Other Suns. And both of us had said this particular book that we want to read next month has been on our list for a very, very long time. And every time somebody mentions it, we both cringe. So we were like, no, we're just going to do it. And the book is The New Jim Crow, Mass Incarceration in the Age of Colorblindness by Michelle Alexander. Everybody seems to see this. It's on all the lists right now of the books to read. Um, and so I'm excited to actually be able to check the box and have read this because um, I know there's valuable information in here and I'm excited to read this with her. And like I did with the other book, I have lined it up um, and she and I will, I think each week, I think usually on Sunday, we kind of powwow um, and, you know, talk about what we've read and think about. So this is, I'm really looking forward to that. The other one that I'm doing is a summer read along with Didi and that one, um, that one actually, do I have it on here? Yeah, it's Kintu. It's a Ugandan novel, and I'm really excited to read that with her, and I'm hoping that I can do it. You know what, I, I, again, you see these other things here, and I have other things as well going on, but she has started a group, um, Dee Dee at Brown Girl Reading has started a group on um, Goodreads to read that novel. Now, I have to look, because I don't know if they started it yet. I'm hoping that they haven't, so that I'm not already behind, um, but, um, this book has gotten a lot of praise um, and I'm curious to see if it lives up to the hype. Um, and I'm also just really excited to read something from Uganda. I don't believe I've read a Ugandan author before, so this would be great. Um, and I always love reading groups, books with Didi. There's always great discussions and stuff about it. And the group on, when they're on Goodreads, they really do really have a good discussion. So I will leave links to that also below. That is something else that's in my pocket. Um, and before I go, I just wanted to, I did this already on Instagram, but I just wanted to grump about one thing, okay? I waited patiently for the paperback version of Patsy to come out by <laughs> Nicole Dennis Ben. And let me tell you, I was so excited because I'm gonna show you the back first. It's like so pretty. And I'm, I'm really enjoying having paperbacks now. I used to only have hardbacks, but who has room for all those? I don't. I will still buy hardbacks sometimes, but I'm trying to be better. I waited for this. I ordered it and it came with, can you see that? Right in the middle is a read with Jenna sticker. It's a book club, you know, uh, Jenna um, Bush has a book club that she, you know, recommends books like Oprah and Reese. Everybody's got one now, right? Okay. I have no problem, you know, cause you help make sales for these books, right? You get it to a wider audience. But do you need to, you didn't write the book. You don't need to, this isn't a sticker. It's not a sticker. It's on the cover of the book. I'm too lazy to return it. I'm just gonna be mad when I look at it. But I can't believe I waited this long and the book came and it had that on it. And it's not even a sticker that I can slowly remove and be like, you know, gripe that it was there, but it's gone. No, they've figured out now, we're gonna make you keep it there. We're gonna make you see our name. Even if we didn't write the book at all, we're just gonna put, I think that's just, a poor judgment call. I think that they should never do that. It should be a sticker if you're going to do it at all and preferably on the back, it's my my opinion, but whatever. Especially for book lovers, you know, we really pride ourselves on having books that we love the covers, we love the spines and everything like that. So that's my gripe. That's all I'm going to say. I hope you guys have a great weekend and I have some other videos to come back to talk to you about what I've read for Caribbean and Caribbean Heritage Month. And, um, and other updates. So I hope you're all well and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.